hello and welcome back to to being on a crazy island where the locals ordered the attack to somebody to kill us and uh, apparently it's for it was for an own good maybe we don't know it's, it seems like this uh, place has a bunch of bug guys uh, with some other crazy monk dudes who are willing to die for them Deep in the bog you find the cave entrance obscured by vines. The bog's characteristics uh, rot uh, laughs from the cave, but so too does a strangely alchemical spell. As you brush aside the vines and step inside the cave, you hear uh, the faint sound of laughter coming from further in. Wow, really? I can't wait to do my best uh, fake laugh when I see them laughing. <laughs> Maybe there's just, just children inside like, Hey, Poppy? I'm like, um, mm -hmm, Poppy's not coming. I, I killed them all. Hey guys, uh, what's up? Hey, watch out. Oh! oh. Bug witch? What the hell? That's a lot of thumbs up. Thumbs down. Oh, that's disgusting. Don't do that. Oh, I seem... We seem to be having a problem here. Can you just do your heal? I really would prefer to not die. Damn. Why are we always surrounded? That's not cool. Maybe I need to do one of my scrolls now. She's petrified as well. Okay, we need to control this. Like, something like that. What kind of defenses they have? Immunity to intellect, resolve, and dexter- So they are improved to all afflictions, and they are immune to crush damage. Holy crap! Uh, we need to know that. That usually works. Uh, okay, use that. What are you using? That's crush damage. Don't do that. Uh, what else we got here? Pierce is good, right? Uh, they don't mind to get slashed open. Pierce is good. What are the bug witch? One stands alone, apparently. Uh, but nothing really we didn't need to know about that. So we can't affect them with any afflictions. That's kind of a bummer. I think we need to do a heal. Sati, what about you? Ah, she got charmed. Wow. I think we need to do a, a healing stroll again. Wow, who's terrified us? I really hope it's the bug witch. Damn. We're getting destroyed. Why is this... Why is this such a thing? I, I can't help but feel that this is just the lost cause. Wait, what are you doing? Chill fuck time? Oh, she got charmed again. Like, literally the best way to play this game is just have one character run in and just run away because everything surrounds you. If Edder just ran ran forward and pulled in the guys, we would have like easy fucking sailing time. Every single time. Because ranged characters are almost like completely pointless because 
everything is just like, oh, they are all over you. There's no choke points either. They're just like all over you all the time. Damn. Yeah, we need to set up a properly a little bit. Okay, we're gonna do ranged. Uh huh. Like, yeah, look at this. Nothing wrong with this. Oh, enemies, run away as fast as you can. That's how you gotta play it. Okay, and then you can just drop some freezing pillar on them. What are you doing? No, 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 no. And kill them all. Let's go back. Don't go over there. Let's do a chill fog in the back as well, so they can't even hit me. That smooth sailing. Hmm, how what? And it might be like, oh yeah, but like it just like that's the correct way to play the game. Always run away from a fight, just to take it in a more advantageous uh, spot. But I just, I just uh, argue that like, if there's a squad who you're supposed to fight with, they should be just. Uh, far away, you know, you just see them, whatever. Bam. They're like, all over you! you you screwed! What is this? The pool of water before you swirls in a riot of colors. The occasional bubble floats to the surface and pops, releasing a puff of colorful smoke that smells by turns acrid and flowery. Examine the pool. You dip a small glass bottle into the bubbling pool and hold it up to the light to get a better look. The liquid inside slowly separates into several levels. You surmise that the layers must be of different densities and thus must be in fact several distinct liquids. Uh, let's save and drink. <laughs> drink from the pool? You dip your bare hands into the pool and drink what doesn't slip between your fingers. Your skin turns a bright pink. That's my color. Coarse, wiry little hairs coat your back. You, your nose widens and flattens. You are possessed of a sudden desire to find a mud pit to lounge in. What? Uh. Why is uh. Why is Ishiza losing the AI? Okay, so we drank from that thingy. About to meet. Hey, bug witches, you wanna die? That's right. That's right. Wait, what? Freezing pillar. Did you not pay? Whoa, whoa, bug witch in our, in our face. Wow, what the hell? What makes the bug witches such assassins? Aren't they supposed to be witches? A lot of thumbs down happening. Can we just do it here. No, that's not it. Just terrify them. Were they immune? No, they are apparently not immune. 
to everything. So they're weak and terrified. Far out, time to die. They're like Druids. Does Picara wanna talk to me now? Did she just bug out? And doesn't have a way to No problem. Doesn't have a death. Let's go. Model. Superb wands. They are all pierce damage. Cool. She's dead, but she's also very much alive. Hey, you over here. The cauldron nestled in the center of uh, the witch's hut is filled with a foul, bubbling brew. Examine it. A hulking cauldron squats at the center of the witch's hut. Arcane symbols are etched across its surface in precise lines. Though clearly enchanted to serve some larger purpose, you're unsure what that is. Aren't I supposed to see her dead? Maybe I'm just gonna do a reload, and uh, that's gonna fix it. If not, who cares? Uh, we're just gonna bust out the guy. Oh yeah, she has loot now. Why not? And uh, we have witch's key. That's that's pretty good. Sometimes when the well, many times when the games break, they are just bro break for good. Tama Watua. Ah, feels good to stretch my legs. You got something in there? Akira. What? I didn't say make yourself at home. Free once again. How did you get captured in the first place? Bad luck, eh? Always this seems to happen to me. First pirates, now witches. Oh, for what? A salve recipe? It is madness. Do you know what the witches were brewing in that cauldron? Huh. What potion requires bat bile? Cat blood and dandelion fluff. Even I'm not crazy enough to touch it, I say. You ain't never quaffed brewed bat bile, Cap. Oh, then you ain't even lived. Yeah, about my reward. You have the witch's notes? I will translate them for you as a show of thanks. Yeah, Kara. Thanks. You're not leaving, but I... But I just freed you. Yeah, Kara. Who do you think collected those ingredients for the witches? Me, Tamawatua. They are mine as much as anyone's, I say. All right, we got the deciphered notes. <clears throat> to create a draught of greater strength, a blend of flame and ruby make, for one who seeks vitality, a mix of stone and pearl they need. To grant oneself a careful step, a brew of wind and emerald prep. If cleverness one lacks in spades, for flame and sapphire one needs must trade. For those few cursed with lesser vision, Adra ban and win provision. And to be blessed with purpose of her intention, grind some stone and amber in succession. Into each elixir enjoin thee must the inclusion of shining dust, hearty smear of spirit essence, and water of pure quintesses. I will take some time to study this island, I think. Strange things grow among its weeds, and they will need names. Okay. And if you need supplies before you go, Tama will sell you what he can find. Akira. What? Now you're just selling me stuff? What a guy. Aren't you supposed to be giving me what you got? You take a look. You're pretty rich for a guy. Aren't I supposed to have this stuff? I mean, like, I appreciate the discount, but you're literally just selling the stuff that I should be able to loot around here, right? Right? So that's a bit of a problem. Like, just busting out this guy. Do we want to drink it? Create the potion of Mataru's strength. It's just a potion. I 
don't really care. Is it just is it permanent? Motaru strength? Creative necessity? I lost a bunch of primer stuff. And we got a potion. You got it. Do we need to open? I feel more clever. Oh, cauldron brew. I feel more clever. Nice. Uh, that's kind of what I was going for. I wanted to be smarter, and I am. That's my ultimate goal. To be the smartest of them all. It kind of fits with being a wizard. I do enjoy being a wizard. I'm gonna name it Bog Witches. There you have it. Anyone who comes here and like, oh my god, what are these bog dudes and the witches uh, doing around here? After knowing the name of the island, Bog Witches, they have no one to blame but themselves. That's really not a paradise idol, uh, by any means. What is this? Rikuhu's Maw. I kinda wanna go back home. And, uh... Maybe see if we can actually buy a map. So we don't have to just, uh... I don't really like doing this! So we're gonna go back, and if we can buy a map, and it doesn't cost like... 20,000. If it costs like a few thousand, we're gonna buy it. What the hell is this? This island is pretty big. Also, we see a ship that we can uh, loot, perhaps. Oh, yeah. How do we get to this island? No way. Seems like it. Alright, anyway, uh, slaver guys. Cock sport captain? Hey, hey, what are you guys doing? Uh, attack. Show me what you have for sale. You kidding me? Close the board, give no quarter. Charge. They're level 10, I'm level 11. Easy prey. Should I just, uh, go for the... Okay, let's try it out. I talk... I have a big talk about, uh, the text adventure being easy. And we take less damage, but let's just see. But it just you just need to press so many buttons. Uh, full speed ahead. What kind of cannons I got? Uh, 250, 350. They got a bunch of crappy cannons. So we only need to be concerned about... The... How do I close this? Port side, no, no, not the port side. Well, they have a, be a little bit better starboard cannons, at least when it comes to range. Full speed ahead. We got closer. Full speed ahead again. Oh, they just want to shoot at us. Full speed ahead of the gam. Full speed ahead of the gam. Full speed ahead of the gam. They're scurrying. Full speed ahead again. Are they gonna shoot at us? Ever? Scurry. Prepare to board. Like, why was it... Like, seriously. Like, literally, all we did is just... Press full speed ahead. And if I chose the other option... To do the exact same thing, we would have lost... Something. Prepare to board. We would have taken so much damage. After this, we're gonna check out the crew. 
uh, how they are doing. And they are so bloody injured. They're ridiculously injured. And they're just so sad about it. <sighs> Damn. I just I just feel a little bit forced into this mini game that actually it's not that engaging I would say, so it should be optional. All right, uh, let's just line up properly. Let's not go for double speed. These are humans. Humans are easy. Flavors are easier. They're weak, they are weakened and terrified. Yeah, kill him, slaver. Yeah, slavers killing slavers. Hell yeah, you're like with us, but just a slaver, right? What's wrong with you? No, the slaver's dead. Hey, what? Never mind that. Take all their stuff. Great. So after this fight, and I'm pretty sure that even if we got hit by them, we would have taken less damage than we we take than when we actually uh, take proper. Well, we choose to skip the whole text adventure because even if they shot us twice, like uh, from both sides. Bania, what is this? Back the. That's fire company. Do we want to make friends of them? I don't know. Let's see my reputation. So we are kind of friendly with the dead fire. I'm I'm destroying some unaffiliated mer merch ships. But if I attack the dead fire company, my reputation will undoubtedly go down, and that might actually affect my reputation with Maya as well. What is Benia, but we probably shouldn't just murder everybody. I kind of want to, though. What now? I want to buy a map. <laughs> I want to buy all the maps. That's not what I expected. Oh, what? Got We're having a proper fight sight. in our hands? Hey, guys, what's up? What kind of position you have? Okay, you buffed the party, that's good. Terry fight! Benny a bounty. Hey mercenary sapper, don't worry about it. We'll get to you. Eventually. It's really hard to uh, program good AI for the wizard. Unless you're trying to only use lame spells. It seems like, seems pretty damn easy for... Uh, Add there and uh, superb and Maya. Seraphon needs a little bit of interaction, not too much, but mostly the priest and the mage needs the most. So, what we have here superb heavy armor grants lone vanguard with the horde. Grants bonus deflection while near allies, that's pretty good. A chance to convert hits to grazes while there is no allies nearby. Pl minus 50% damage taken from disengagement attacks. Free con, that's pretty good. And superb. Superb gear. Alright, not bad. 
Let's uh, strip them all down. It's clearly an accident of people sunbathing for too long. It happens, guys. I'm trying to bring awareness to the topic, but... You know, I wouldn't recommend just sunbathing on a... On a, well, kind of abandoned island for such a long time. That's just irresponsible, actually. That's pretty good. <laughs> Grants hold fast? What is that? Um, how about do just the con? Can we get more con? One might. Oh, well, maybe just get more health. But that's so the uh, that's very appropriate. I don't I don't want to change that. Ah, uh, I don't know. Banias heads. Do I care about the super brigantine? I think I'm using super armor for every super or legendary armor for everybody. Legendary is pretty damn good. Yeah, legendary armor. Only Maya doesn't have a legendary armor. <laughs> And that actually looks pretty good. Actually, we should not leave the island just yet. We need to get some water. Can't leave it without some water. So, Don, I maybe won't attack the Death Fire Trading Company. I know. It pains me to say that, but I guess I'm trying to make friends with them. Abandoned village. Search the location. There's not much there that really worth reading. Or at least it repeats quite a bit. So, going back to Nekataka, maybe we can. Return some bounties, but most of all, I, I want to check out if we can buy a better ship. And can we buy some information? I don't know how we get the neck attack at the fastest. A fog rolls in. Whoa! It's gotta be those undead ship guys. Out of nowhere, a heavy fog rolls over the ocean, so dense that you cannot see more than a dozen feet out from your ship. With the fog's arrival, the winds die, the waves calm, and the Defiant is left aimlessly drifting. The only sounds of the, of the hull groaning as in the wind of what's to come. The eerie grim lights pierce through the fog as the silhouette of a massive galleon approaches. Black sails... Though tattered and rotting, catching an otherworldly wind, slicing the ship forward at a rapid pace. The captain, a skeleton outfitted in tarnished armor with glowering eyes, surveys you from uh, the quarter deck of the decaying galleon. She wraps two fleshless fingers against her chest before pointing right at you. <clears throat> What the goddess of death has marked, I will leave untouched. She nods solemnly. Once, then with a tilt of her skull, steers the ship away. As the floating hangman turns, several undead sailors shamble across the deck, hungry for a look at your crew. They scratch at the chipped and rotting railing, heads rolling on their exposed spines. Goddess of death. The ship disappears back into the fog. A few minutes pass before the fog fully disappears and the winds uh, pick back up, rustling your sails. The sea is clear, empty. The other ship is nowhere to be found. Damn. So Berat is uh, kind of looking out for us a little bit. Unaffiliated merchant's ship. Hey, you want to die? Hey, it's, you are unaffiliated, so I, clearly you don't mind me attacking you. Oh, we, we're close. Give no quarter charge. Why? On second thought, if I can take less 
than that. Just by full speed ahead going toward them. Are they gonna shoot at me? It looks like once. They reassign some guys. Prepare to board. Literally, we took no damage. They did nothing. So, what the hell, game? And the fact that we are taking so many injuries are haunting me quite a bit. I actually didn't show. But injuries are a main deal. And they are kind of a problem uh, when it comes to morale. A lot of guys rushing us. They're sad and terrified. They're not gonna act. For... 42 seconds. Yeah, good luck surviving that. Oh, sailor guy? Oh, maybe that's working for us. I don't know who's working for us right now. He seems charmed. Yeah, he's charmed. After him. Right between the eyes. Oh, the dead fire merchant? That's it. Take all and continue. Great. So if, if this happens, then we don't even need a be better ship. I don't think I want the fast ship. Also, we need uh, a map, I think. I guess we just have to do a lot of up and down, or left and right. And uh, that doesn't seem that appropriate uh, way to really explore the sea. Maybe it's just me. Supply. Okay, we can buy the Voyager. It, wait, what does it say? Hit chance? We don't care. Hull? Wait, that's just bad. Requires at least five crew to operate? The one that I have right now requires like... Oh yeah, I actually forgot to check that. Uh, no. So, we have six crew who operates it. We also have... At least those guys. Now, so look at this. Injured for 5 days. Injured for 21 days. Charred skin, torn muscle, cracked bone, deep laceration. Oh baby, we got 4 here. Charred skin, torn muscle, deep laceration and cracked bone. Oh, just cracked bone over here. Charred skin and cracked bone. Torn muscle, charred skin and broken bone. Puncture wound, crack bone and torn muscle. Oh baby, Rum Dum Riguri hit the jackpot with charred skin, puncture wound, broken bone, torn muscle and cracked bone. Rum Dum, you're good. You guys want some extra water? <laughs> some ale. What else uh, kind of food I got? Hackfish, you guys like that maybe? Um, some of that. Yeah. There's some fresh fruit. That's good too. Anyway. So about the ships you're selling. So you're selling a Voyager. Which, it doesn't say how fast it is. I suppose it doesn't affect it. But our whole health right now is 60. And our sail health is 20, right? Can I check it? Sail health is 20. Whole health is 60. Combat speed, 50 per round. Travel speed, 65. Uh, I don't know if you can change the travel speed. Let's see. We got a doll. Well, we should... Pr no, that's the, that's the next step. What else we got? This is just so expensive. I don't know how you get money for this. Combat speed, hull speed, travel speed. Supplies. A lot of cannons. Captain Quarters. Uh, why? 
Steel Helm, plus 5 combat speed. I would... Actually, I don't even care about the sail speed. So, let's just see the next ship. This one has more hull health, more sail health. Hit chance, turn to starboard, jibe. So, this is a little bit harder to uh, use. Right? I would say that this is probably worse than the Defiant we have right now. And Voyager seems worse than the Defiant as well. It basically has a 10 less whole health and 5 more sail health. Maybe has higher chance to hit, but we don't really know that. It doesn't say anything about the Defiant. Let's just check it out. We got the Galleon. Now, uh, if you want to go for this approach, I guess you might want to go with the Galleon. Just to have uh, whole health. Junk. I don't know. Minimum crew 9. I just don't care too much about those thingies. Truly not. Travel speed. Uh, what's that? Temporary travel speed bonus? Or is it just like a special item that you hang? And it increases your travel time? I don't know. Truly done. Anyway, we gotta go into Queen's Birth. Uh, can we just go to the... Where do we wanna land? So... We got business in the Kataka. We... That's not a business. Sacred Stair. We need to kill a guy in Sacred Stair. Katran. Uh, we don't really have that. Serpent's Crown in Nakataka. We need to kill Lady Apparel. Lord Admiral Limp. Bigger Fish. Get Sailors to leave. Find the pirate gang that mugged Radora. Maybe I just wanted to see if we can... Actually, we... We wanna check this thing out first. Quartato Estate, Sansa's Mop Emporium. Now, let's just go to Queen's Bird first. And I'm just gonna go to Sansa's Mop Emporium. I'm actually really glad that it's... Uh, it's an option to select the Mop Emporium. That makes it more likely that the Mop Emporium doesn't completely suck. That could be nice. Although, I kind of like the fact that we... A little bit like the fact that we don't see everything. Because that means that... This way... Whatever I explore... I also... Uh, check out, I suppose. Unless it's uh, very hard and... I suppose I make a, at least a mental note that I should come back. But if we just uh, reveal the whole map, then it could be a little bit harder to know uh, where we spent time already. So we need to find some imp named. Um, I don't know his name. We have it in the journal. Shat bear paws lumber lumber yonder. What? That be the misery's delight. Malnage's pus stuffed canker of a boat. I don't speak that language. He widely points at a half galley docked nearby. Only two hands hold the deck. The remaining crew may be below decks or they may be ashore. Avast the flogging fuck, Captain. You eyeing that trice shat bear paws lumper. You wanna steal the ship? Who? Ah, Molnage. High Queen Sea Devil of the Deadfire. Unfortunately, also the second best ship hunter around. After yours truly, of course. Of course. Doxy popped a hard on and a half for hating me the tick I joined the sorcerer. Romaro shielded me from the worst of her training. When they bountied him, I figured for sure the Rat Queen would be the first rat up the gangplank. Molnage be up in Romaro's head or I've never had a roll on the waves. She finds him for us, 
She'll sink him soon as sighted. Come on, Captain. Do you give me a mission, actually? Question Udin at the Luminous Bathhouse about... We need to go to the Luminous Bathhouse, apparently. And what about the guy? Do we know exactly where he is? Queen's Bert? No. Search Queen's Bert, kill Lord Admiral Imp, and take his head. Okay. First, let's go to... Do I want to go to the Valera Estate? You know about Lim guy? Oh, to those who labor in the shadow, gone shepherds us all. Traveler. I think that is no. Seek out his temple along the sacred map emporium. Please, let me buy a map. I'll pay you. I was not planning to at first, but I might actually pay you. Sansa, how might I assist you? Uh, what do you do here? That's a dumb question. Certainly, certainly. It would be my pleasure. Of course, it's mostly books and knickknacks. Maps I do on commission, you see. Yeah. Maps. Snakeskin grimoire. What is this? Why would anyone care about this piece of shit grimoire? It, li it really has no value. Does it have anything new? Nanazim's Cobra Strike? That might be new. But that's all I can think of. Spyglass. Okay. Can you do a map? Oh, <gasps> you can't! Asian tablet? Worthless? Lol, I'm gonna buy it. It's... I guess not. Not like I sold it to you. Seems like the thing I would do, but... I didn't do it. No matter how hard I'm looking here, there's no way. How might I assist you? What do you do here? Oh, I am a cartographer. I make maps. I'm not half bad at it either. And may the gods forgive my immodesty for saying so. Give me a map. If you need a map of any settled region of the Deadfire, I am your man. And my commission rates are quite generous. Great. It used to be I would take to the sea and do a bit of charting myself. But I haven't the time. Too many maps need making. A shame too. There's a whole swath of the dead fire I've yet to see. Great. I'm quite keen to write a book, in fact. Oh, but I won't trouble you about that. Excuse my nattering on, won't you? Nice dog. You think so? He is a magnificent beast, isn't he? Sansa's face splits into a broad grin, bright enough to light the room. He's been a bit low lately. Between you and me, I think he's heartsick for the sea. Do you sleep here? Uh, <laughs> sometimes. He touches a hand to his forehead and blushes scarlet from his neck to the tips of his ears. Married to the work, you know. I just get so... so engrossed in my maps. And next I know, it's morning. Okay. That's nothing wrong with that. Sharing a bed with a few maps is a good sight better than sharing with Caleb, I'll tell you that. Caleb? He always hogs the blankets. Okay, I... I accept that you like your dog a little bit, but you, you said you're writing book? Uh, writing a book? I'm putting together an explorer's account of the dead fire. Or at least the part of it Queen Onekaza's tribe has laid claim to. My book will be the first of its kind. The explorer's club will go mad for it. Or, well, that was the idea. It's a fiercely dangerous enterprise, in point of fact, and nobody will agree to char the islands for me. I already did it! You'd think ship captains would be a bold-hearted bunch. I offered fair recompense. I'm not exactly the most powerful fighter, or I do it all myself. Still, wouldn't it be wonderful? An explorer's guide to the dead fire. Someday. If it pays, I'll take the job. Do you mean it? This is... Wow! I can't thank you enough! It's a lot of ground, I mean water to cover, and some of these islands are in very dangerous waters. Despite his words, the gleeful expression on Sansa's face has not faded. Don't worry, I planned it all out. We'll get your feet wet first. 
With a little experience under your belt, I'm sure you'll get a taste for it. Nothing will stop us. I mean, you. The idea is to explore all the islands that haven't been charted yet, or even named. That falls to you, Aimika. I'm already you ahead of you. You've never wanted to name your own island? I already did that. You might be curious to find out some of the names I chose. I kind of wanted to buy a map from you, not make the map myself. I thought we could start with the waters around the company outpost at Port Maggi. There are two islands in the region, and nobody's taken much notice of them yet. It just seemed like such an obvious question to ask. Well, ask from this guy, like, map maker guy. I just come in here, what do you do here? Once you're back, I'll start filling in my map and adding your findings to the book. Oh, this will be wonderful. No need to wait that long. I've already been out that way. You, you what? Why, that's incredible. Gelarde. Imagine if you had never wandered into my shop. What an opportunity lost. You've done wonderfully. Oh, this book will be the best thing since Cassini's adventures, and that was all romantic rubbish. Here, your pay, my friend. We're only getting started, of course. There's more to see. Tikawara next, I think. How does that strike you? It's a little Juana village out to the southeast. Three islands this time, all nameless and unloved. They form a little triangle around Tikawara, if you squint. I'll be waiting. All right. And I'll be leaving, I guess. What a bastard. So, we need to find an imp. Where would you be, where would I be, if I was a bloody imp? I have no idea. Do we have anything to go on? Cut purses and bushed Captain Rador. No, no, that's not it. Search Queen's Bird, kill Lord Admiral Imp. Actually, we don't know about that either. I can't help but feel, but we need to go into the pub. Actually, we need to go into the Valian Trading Company as well. Did he do any bounties that Anya might be happy about? Fuck, my little privateer. I you have news for me? I doubt it'd be Akara. Belfetto, a fitting test of your skills and a promising beginning for us both. Thank you. It goes without saying that I have more work for you if you have the space for more coin. I do have. What bounties do you have available? The company is always eager to hunt pirates. My contacts have one by the name of Veen in their spyglass. They literally give contract for every single guy out there. Not these guys, but like overall the bounty guys. Veen is a Vithrak, if such things matter to you. Gets I'll take the bounty. Head, they say. Gelarde. You can catch up to Veen as he sails the Dao Reckless far east of Neketaka, past the Kuau Rikuhu Islands, no doubt thinking himself beyond our reach. Very well. Do you guys have some any uh, jobs for me? Tavanuhu? This young Guamana wears a disconcerted frown. He meets your approval with the flicker of a welcoming smile, but it dies down quickly. Please, I must ask a favor. No. He shies back from making eye contact, keeping his head lowered. What say? Do you have business with the Valian Trading Company? Uh, not yet, at least. Why? My people are the Duape. We signed a contract with the company. Avanu looks toward the headquarters with a despondent frown. We were not understanding the terms at the time. Too many big words for you, friend. Next time, hire an advocate. Opening his mouth to retort, Tavanu instead takes in Naya with confusion before turning back to you. I wish to, what say, renegotiate. But the clerks turned me away. Tell me about this contract. My father, the Ranga, took payment from the company. In exchange, they dig for Audra. He speaks with more confidence, as if these words were rehearsed several times over. He did not understand the Valian way. When he dies, the Outlanders will claim our island for themselves. What? Father has fallen ill, and the clerk, Luca, stands by the agreement as surely as if it was stamped in his skin. That's a bold proposal if I ever heard one. Akira, 
Already, this treatment is not so unusual. I made my appeals to Luca, but my words were as stones dropped down the deepest well. While I am barred from the company office, I can do nothing for my people. I'm a legal, legal clerk myself, and I'm going to represent you. I need payment up front. Nah, there's no need. I'll meet with this Luca. Maybe we can arrive at a more agreeable terms. Yeah, they're gonna be pretty agreeable. Okay, I'm gonna look into it. Uh, Akira, my thanks. I will remain here by day until justice is done. <gasps> the worst of his concerns are quickly overshadowed by a broad smile. My words were only the crashing of waves. You will speak with authority, I say. Okay, I'm... I'm... Uh, I shall live up to your confidence in me. Wanna man? They own the island? After the guy dies? Damn. That's pretty extreme. At that point, why do you even care? About some contract. Like, why do you... Well... Are they just gonna kill everybody there? Ship them off or what? It's obviously unfair. Aboko? Can we find Fado, my hunter? Give no mus hat your delight. catch? I hope I will still find this disgusting when I am important enough to toast with the elite bounty hunters. You're nothing but just the guy who se uh, sells the bounty. I tell them all that the captain of your ship will always be my favorite hunter. What bounties do you have? A sea troll has been making a name for himself raiding fishing villages with his minions. They call him Tahe. That's thief to the locals. I hear the Juana hate few things more than a food stealer. Warriors fan out to catch the fiend, <laughs> but so far they have no luck. Tahe can't have roamed far from his latest raid on an island southwest of Nikitaka. Yeah, I already got his head. You have done us both a favor. <laughs> My esteem in the bounty community rises, and hunters come to buy me drinks. My friend, you have drained the wellspring and made us both very famous. If you have not spoken to her yet, find the gold pack knight Okauro in Sacred Stair. She can give you more work. Nice doing business with you, Abuko. <clears throat> I don't know how I feel about these bounty guys. It just doesn't feel like a very um, meaningful uh, quest. Now, so many times you're just like, oh, I already did it. Pretty good looking it? guy. Uh, Captain Rodora. I don't know where could I find the imps. Like, come on, I really need some uh, pointers here. Am I? I don't know. How do I find them? Also, I need to find the tugs as well. I I kind of run around all the, all around the place and. Okay, what did I miss? I don't know what I missed. I'm pretty sure that, that there's nothing there. There's nothing here, just only the the entertainers. <clears throat> so I checked out everything, right? I'm pretty sure that I did. Okay, we obviously didn't check out everything. So I just have some theories about this, how this could go. I know there are at least like one hidden uh, room, or not really hidden room, but like not really shown on the map. Like there's a room here. I think I already went in there and we didn't see anything. And I think I saw one room over there as well. Queensbird District Home. Let's check it out. We gotta just pop in. Probably not see anybody, but we gotta check out the other room. Like, the thing is, like, we don't really have a lot to go on here. Other than, uh, they are here. Yeah, I looted this already. I'm, I suspect I didn't loot the other one. The only other thing I can think of at this point is that... Maybe they... Um... Uh, Maybe the town is different at night? I've been dreaming about a priest that died, then rose again. What do you think that means? 
I oh no no no! We got him. Aura. Never mind that. Nothing but bones lit by the flames of his soul. Hey, Lord, Lord Admiral Imp. Eh? Avast, ground filth. Why disturb Lord Admiral, eh? eh? The imp glances left and right with evident anxiety. I'm not doing anything wrong. Eh? Go away. That's zero send me. Eh? No, no interruptions to the plan. Lord Admiral's work too important. Get her, Cullies. Wow. Yeah. You attack me. Hey, that wasn't that bad. They don't care about me killing Sarips. Okay, oh. hold up. Bad way to go about it. I can just drop down a freezing pillar in the back. Okay. I need to restart it. Ooh, they're dead. They're so dead. Maybe retargeted on the guy in the back. Oh, Impy guy is dead. Intellect ring, burn armor rating, all defenses against fire attacks. Being critically hit with fire attack, this is just an anti-fire ring. Leave it to me. Alright, fair enough. I'll just go. We can go back to Desirol. And at this point, we are basically done. Oh, actually, one thing that we can do is uh go back to the Valera estate and tell them that we're not gonna kick out the pirates. Oh, also we can go into the Valiant Trading Company headquarters. So many things to do. Uh, this is what I was talking about. I don't know if I actually was in here previously. Oh, I I wasn't, but My fingers be fat and looks like I didn't really miss anything. Son Wach the dog? We got him now. Hmm. I need to check out the 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 royal families here. Well, not really royal families. Uh Simbel? Are you new? Please no interruptions. Anyhow, uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.